This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Marianne and Amanda Lang with me and I've got Darren Johnson. You are the executive director of the BIA in uh, North Grenville. Thank you very much for joining us. Thanks for having us, Kathy. You are actually the executive director of Old Town Kemple BIA, is that correct? Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's yep. right. Now, we've got a big yep. event coming up, and I mean, we've had two years of COVID, so to talk about an event that's going to be this big is exciting. Right, Darren? Absolutely. And I know, and this is one of the things we've talked about a lot, is the community's ready for this. Like, <laughs> they've been waiting two years for, for an event like this. We've had so many cancellations like other communities have, and we know people are just chomping at the bit to get out and experience something. So we're ready. So uh, we're going to go with the theme that uh, uh, Marianne and Amanda have got here. It's a busker fest. <laughs> That's right. Do you want to talk a little bit about it? Maybe uh, Amanda? Uh, yeah, so we're really excited to be part of the organizing committee and um, in charge of logistics and operations. And Amanda's our youth connection and in charge and uh, on as part of the organizing committee and, and helping with programming and stuff. And we're really excited and happy to be part of this and bring this to downtown Kempfell. And uh, it's going to be an epic, amazing event. And you're right, the community is so ready for this, for sure. Yes, for sure. For, and I, I mean, an event like this takes some planning too. How long have you guys been uh, at the table? Actually, all this officially started, my God, way back in September of, nine, uh, no, I was going to say 1920. <laughs> good, good try, good try. Not quite that long. Uh, 2020, actually. September of 2020 is when we, we started this. So we um, initially, we, we made a presentation to council, and they were very gracious and gave us some funding. So we were planning for that spring, but, you know, COVID had other plans, so. <clears throat> We've sort of been pacing ourselves throughout uh, throughout the past year and a half, but now it's now it's crunch time. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely, because we're talking May twenty first. That's right, May twenty first. So the long weekend. The long weekend. So Darren, can you talk about what the, what the day you want the day to look like? And uh, we're going to talk next about what what you need. I mean, because we need volunteers and vendors. But let's talk about yeah. what the day is going to look like. Okay, sure. So what we're planning is like literally to close down uh, a huge section of Prescott Street right in the middle of our downtown. And um, from 9 a.m., we have full programming from 9 a.m. right through to 5 p.m. And we've got multiple stages or multiple performing areas set up. So we've got lots of buskers. Um, we're going to have lots of buskers booked lots of performances going on and one of the reasons we originally got into this idea of a busker fest was the old dandelion festival and if springtime just doesn't didn't seem to be springtime without a big festival or a big event especially in the downtown so that's why we sort of came upon this idea of busker fest so Part of the appeal of the Dandelion Festival was it was such a great showcase for local talent and local artists. So we wanted to bring that back because we know we got a lot to show off here in North Grenville and Kempville. Like there are some amazing, amazingly talented people out there. So this was, this was part of that. This was our opportunity, not only to showcase our downtown, showcase our businesses, but to showcase, like I said, the uh, the very talented people we have here. So we've got nine to five, like I said, uh, lots going on. We've got a kids zone. We've got a, we're calling it a food truck rodeo. I don't, I don't know if there'll be any, uh, any horses or cowboys or anything at this rodeo, but it should be a lot of fun nonetheless. You, uh, you mentioned it, we're gonna have a vendor showcase or a vendor market. And uh, we just actually, I'll, I'll tell you this now, we just, um, the ink is still wet, but we're going to have a ticketed concert that night in Riverside Park. Wow. So just sort of a great way to sort of cap off a really fun day. The idea was, okay, you know, mom and dad are coming out with the kids and they're going to have a great time all day Saturday, and then they can, they can go home, drop the kids off at grandma and grandpa's and come back and enjoy some great live music, 
dance, sing, have a couple drinks, and just you know, just really make it a make it a day to remember. So it's it's going to be really something. Oh, so looking forward to this. So looking forward to it. So what do you need? What do we need to make this happen? Well, I know our operations and logistics people have a pretty good idea what we need. <laughs> Ladies, what do we need? <laughs> well, we're getting there. I think the biggest thing to make this event successful is volunteers, of course, to start off with. And, um, you know, we're really going to look after our volunteers. We really appreciate them. And so far, we have uh, 34 volunteers, um, some uh, leading up to the event, in addition to the organizing committee, and uh, some the day of the event. And uh, but actually, that day we're expecting three to five thousand people. Uh, Darren, is that yeah. where we're kind of expecting? So, you know, that's a fair number of people for downtown Kempel, and to you know to keep it safe and and to keep it you know. To, to be able to have the fun and keep it safe, it, it does take a lot of volunteers. And uh, there's there's lots of jobs, whether someone wants to come out for, you know, four hours during the day or help us organize things ahead of time, um, you know, closing the streets, just, you know, maintaining everything and, and keeping um, all the activities going that day that need support and help. So there's lots of jobs for everyone who wants to get involved. And oh yes, actually Amanda's reminding me that at, uh, do you want to speak about that Amanda? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Um, so there's going to be a kids zone and one of the crafts are these gesture hats and we will need volunteers for different crafts and stuff too. So yeah. Yeah, there's there's definitely something for everyone and uh so there's definitely uh you know, Darren can hook you up with the the right and the right link to to get on our vendor our, our sorry, our volunteer list. And um, you know, we'll we'll get this great event together um going. So well, I mean, uh, who better to have as uh, some volunteer coordinators as you two ladies who do so much volunteering as well, too. I've known you. As soon as Absolutely. you came on, I thought, oh, I know these ladies. You've helped <laughs> out at our, like, I'm with Community Living. I've seen you at Community Living. I've seen you at hospital events. I've seen you at youth center events. You guys are all over the place. So great, great uh, people to help out with uh, an event like this, Darren. Yeah, you're right. And, you know, I, I remember... Um, when we were sort of getting organized in terms of setting up our subcommittees and Amanda was had reached out to us that she wanted to be a part of things. So, I mean, that was great to have a young person like uh, to get involved right off the bat. So we were thrilled with that. And then um, we were talking about, okay, uh, operations and logistics. It's a big job. Like you're overseeing a good chunk of the sort of the, the day of, of the festival. Right. And, uh, I guess uh, word got around quick and Marianne stepped up and, and offered to help us. And I was thrilled because, you know, when you've got, like you said, when you know someone from the community, they're, in, they're involved in so many things themselves, when they offer to step in and take over, you just thank your lucky stars. Yes. Yes, for sure, for sure, for sure. So we are talking about Busker Fest. It's happening the long weekend in May. Uh, this is going to be on May 21st. That's right. Yep. And we're gonna, Saturday, May 21st. We're hoping and praying for good weather. Yes, yes. It will be rain or shine, though. That's yes. one thing we talked about in terms of the length of the day. So it's from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. all the way through was even if we do get a little bit of rain, chances are it's not going to rain for eight hours. Right. So we feel pretty good that even if we get a little sprinkle that uh, that we'll still uh, we'll still have lots of time for people to come down and and have a great time. Excellent, excellent. So how do yeah. people get a hold of you if they want to help out or, or learn more about it? Well, yay, we've got a, a website, <laughs> uh, kempvillebuskerfest.ca. So we've got um, links in there at the top of the page. You can become a sponsor. You can become a vendor in our vendor showcase. You can become a volunteer. So just go to the website, fill out the form, and that comes to me in my email inbox, and then we can make sure you get set up from there. Oh. So easy. That's so great. Easy. That's great. That's great. And it, we are looking forward to this. We need this. Yes. Yes. For I sure. agree. For sure. For <laughs> I sure. agree. Well, I thank you for joining us. I thank you for doing all the organizing and putting on one of the first big events going on in uh, North Granville too. So uh, after COVID. So it, we have Marianne and Amanda Lang with us and Darren Johnson with our Old Town Kempfel BIA. Thank you for very much for joining us and we look forward to this.